Thank you friends. Thank you for your patience. Today we will continue the practical demonstration of load test of transformer and at the end of the at the end of the test I will try to tell you how to calculate the efficiency of the transformer practically. First we would like to know about the working principles as well as the arrangements the practical arrangements of the transformer for finding the efficiency of the transformer. For that we need a transformer which is the test we are going to test this transformer this transformer is a 2 kva transformer in the primary side i have connected 230 volt this is the primary side otherwise the hme side and in the secondary i am going to have a 115 voltage it means the low voltage side 115 volts the rating of the transformer is 2 kva and also we need a auto transformer or the variac for giving an input supply the input supply to the transformer is given in steps gradually for that we need a variac and also for measuring the primary current or the high voltage side current i need a ammeter here uh, 0 to 10 ampere uh, uh, ammeter is connected as well as i need to measure the primary voltage for that i have connected a voltmeter in the primary side Similarly, coming to the secondary side, just in order to measure the secondary voltage, I have connected a voltmeter. This voltmeter is just connected in parallel. See this, this, this is connected in parallel. And also, a, a low color wire is coming to coming to the ammeter and this is connected to the wattmeter in series. This is going to measure the secondary current as well as I can say as a load current. And the wattmeter, when I say wattmeter, I am using an UPF wattmeter here because the load connected is resistive load. Normally, we will see M and C where M is the main, C is a common terminal and L is the load terminal. A load from low for a load, a wire is, yellow color wire is going to the load and here the V is the voltage potential. Here I have connected 300 volt because a single phase I have connected in the 300 volt voltage potential and uh, this is a setup for in order to check up the input voltage as well as the output voltage just I am having a multimeter with my in my hand for checking the primary and input voltage so connections are made as per the circuit diagram and also we have to we are going to test the transformer by connecting a load called resistive load this is called loading rheostat box it's a single phase loading resistive uh, box otherwise we can say a single phase resistive load setup and i told you that the connections when i say connections please check the connections once or twice for loose connections uh, volt meter should be connected in parallel ammeter should be connected in series and what meter should have both uh, voltmeter connection as well as ammeter connections because it has to measure the power. So voltmeter coil is connected in parallel and an ammeter or a series ammeter coil is connected in series. It has two different coils. So the complete setup is already given to you. And now we will go for the practical demonstration of this particular transformer. Yeah, now we will go for the practical demonstration. Hi sir, please switch on the supply. Yes. Dodong, please try to adjust the variac in steps. Try to adjust the variac. Sli slightly note the voltmeter readings in the primary side. Slightly adjust. Still rise, 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 rise. Yes, still because it is 230 volt. Now we are reaching. Yes, please rise, rise, rise. Slowly. Yes, still rise, rise, rise. Yeah, yeah. Good. Now it is now see the voltmeter. It is in 110 and 115 approximately, it is not, not approximately, nearly to 115 volt. It is connected in, uh, it is connected in 300 volt. That's what just I am multiplying this 115 into 2, it means 230 volt. So now I have applied a 230 volt in the primary side. It is measured through this wattmeter. At this condition, see the ammeter. This ammeter is not at all reading but it is reading a little bit amount a little bit amount of current say for example 0.5 amperes of current is observed this 0.5 amperes of current is for losses so it will it has to compensate for the losses which this losses is called a iron loss or a constant loss of a transformer it is not at all doing any useful work but it is consuming 0.5 amperes of current this current is taken by the coil to energize by itself so for that purpose, I am. It is consuming a minimum amount of current. Okay. Coming to the secondary side, 
see the ammeter ammeter is not at all reading anything because it is zero but primary is consuming at least 0 0.5 here it is not at all consuming any because the load is not at all connected that is no load current is flowing in the secondary coil coming to the voltmeter uh, here it is connected in approximately now it is like 50 55 and 60 into two times because it means in 60 not it is 58 nearly into two times so approximately it is thousand, i mean 115 volt in the secondary side so this is the practical setup hello sir please come and switch on the load let me check whether the load current is whether there is a there is a raise in the load current slowly switch on the main uh, yeah all right try to come now here there is a load is one ampere try to uh, consume try to notice in the ammeter that now, now there is a raise in the ampere slowly so try to switch on one more little bit raise the load yeah now see the load current there is a raise in the load current in previous case it was like one ampere now it is nearly to two amperes at this condition try to load the voltmeter the voltmeter value will not change it will almost maintain at constant and also see the wattmeter there is a conception of power previous case it is zero now it is consuming approximately 100 and uh, 105 and 10 110 into 2 it is approximately 300 let me uh, tell you practically how it is consuming 300 and we will try to prove it for one reading let me assume that the voltage is v that is primary secondary voltage is 58 and also the secondary current is approximately like 2 amperes or 1.8 amperes okay approximately and the power watt meter reading the power watt meter reading that is power is uh, 110 and 110 into 2 because this two indicates multiplication factor multiplication factor this two indicates multiplication that means um, 110 into 2 it is 220 watts now it is watts okay volt okay let i will try to prove it practically uh, while going for the calculation side next try to put up a load raise the load please 2 amperes again 2 amperes again 2 amperes yes now see the try to have the second set of readings now try to observe the voltmeter reading uh, the voltmeter is approximately it's again still standing in the same position constant as in the previous case it is like 58 and try to find the ammeter now the ammeter is approximately in 3.5 3.6 and 3.7 amperes hour now the second set of reading ammeter is um, 3.7 amperes voltmeter is the same like 58 volt and try to find the wattmeter the wattmeter is 240 wattmeter is 240 into 2 times the 2 is the multiplication factor again coming to the primary side at the same time coming to the primary side now now the primary voltage is again 110 volt see the now primary current the primary current is about 4.2 amperes see the four, the primary is 4.2 amperes so let me take a note of here the primary current the current in the primary is 4.2 amperes and uh, the voltage v is is go down how much 110 amperes the voltage yeah so into two because in the, in the gas which connected in this so multiply this two is again the factor multiplication factor so 220 volt and uh, i'm not connected in watt meter here that's why we'll try to calculate the power watt meter side we'll try to calculate the watt meter here so this, i'm sorry this is not ampere this is volt because voltage we are measuring the voltage 110 volt into two then 220 volt and uh, similarly we have to take at least eight readings i told you every time if you want to do a practical demonstration you want to conclude take minimum eight to ten readings gradually in various positions see here, see the tabulation now in such a way we have to tabulate so for example i need a primary voltage i need to measure the primary current i need to measure the secondary current i need to measure the secondary current secondary amperes so primary voltage primary current secondary voltage secondary current also the watt meter particularly here this watt meter is connected in the primary side but in my experiment i have connected to the secondary side if you want you can put two different watt meters in the both side otherwise no watt meter is required because i am connecting a resistive load here when i say resistive load the power factor is unity one therefore in ac power p is equal to v into i into cos theta this 
theta will take the value 1 therefore p is equal to v into i so when i say p is equal to v into i i have the voltmeter readings i have the current readings so p into v will give the power in the primary side similarly p is equal to v into i in the secondary side will give the secondary power so if you want if you want to check you can connect the wattmeter or if you don't want we don't want to connect the wattmeter particularly for resistive load suppose if you going if you're going for inductive load or capacitive load it is must and mandatory to connect the wattmeter in both side as well as in the primary in the secondary in such a way try to take 8 to 10 readings in the next video i will try to tell you how to make calculations and find the efficiency of the transformer do you have any doubt you can just suggest me in my comments and raise question in my comments Again, thanks for your passion, listening. Thank you for your support. Bye-bye.